I got a dang mouse in my car. It raided my banana. So we're gonna just have to declare war on some mice. <laughs> so, kind of cool good news. Today is the last day of hauling hay. I've got two loads of uh, the Prozo straw left. We're gonna get it out of here, take it back up to the house, except it was zero degrees out and the old case tractor isn't excited about starting. I got the hood up here. So I've had the jumper cables on the tractor for a little bit, trying to get her fired up, ready to go. After this, I'm gonna have to walk about a mile from the last couple bales back up here to the tractor. I'm not looking forward to that walk, not gonna lie. It's gonna be cold, but if I can't get this darn tractor started, it's not gonna matter. hooked up these old tractors are cool they've got like a little quick spot to hook up your cables and whatever but yeah let's see hopefully this thing will start I gave it a little shot of ether when I was trying to start it. I might have hit it too much. I'm just gonna let it set for a minute, charge up. Oh, so I got this trailer on here for the day. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I can darn sure hear the motor pulling it down, so that means the battery's taking, taking juice, but man, it's just pretty cold. It doesn't look cold out out here, the sun's out and stuff, but I think it was zero when I headed over here this morning. I had a feeling that tractor wasn't gonna wanna start, but start, baby, start! We'll just have to cheer it on a little harder. I'm gonna let this charge for five, 10 minutes and see what happens. Attempt number two. Got a deal of ether. This tractor has like a direct ether inject on it and usually it works pretty good. I'm kind of thinking my ether can might be empty and that's just why it's not starting. I mean it just takes just a little touch of that starting fluid on cold days and usually this thing fires right up. So if it doesn't start this time I'm going to change that can of ether or just check it and see if that's the problem or not. Oh, cold, cold, cold. Okay. It's frozen down there. Not gonna get a ripper through anything today, that's for sure. But yeah, we're gonna do the long hike back to the tractor. Hopefully, by the time we get back, it'll be nice and warm. Although I forgot to leave the heater on. Normally, I got a floss feet. If you have to put these on, something's wrong. But I have to walk a mile, and it's zero degrees out. So I think I'm gonna put my my extra layer of clothes on today. It's just too cold. <sighs> oh, these things are such a pain. They're hard and heavy to walk in, but better than freezing your booty off, right? Now it's like you're walking around all day with camel toe. 
Good Lord. But I am happy to wear them on this little hike. I'm sure a lot of people are kind of wondering, God, why don't you have somebody help you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of a, a lone farmer. I do all this, well, not all of it, but I, I'd say, yeah, I do all of this by myself. And every once in a while, I get some help from a friend or a family member comes and helps. But for the most part, it's just me. It's all right. That way, that way when things go wrong, it's just me. It's just my fault. I'm the only one to blame, right? It gets kind of quiet out here on the farm sometimes, but whew, it's okay. You have biting bitter cold to keep you, to keep your head busy. I gotta flip these deals down here real quick. So you see these little levers, or it looks like a little C right there. Those things come in and uh, right there on this piece of metal here. So I'm gonna flip these down, but it, it's this piece of metal. You can see where it's been kind of wearing, where it holds it down. But yeah, you just, shoot, grab them down there. And then you see how there's this little piece of sea iron here. It's hooked to a hydraulic cylinder and it slides over and, and holds it and keeps this whole deal from flipping over. It's kind of funny, just there's three of them on there. Let's push this little lever here and watch. Here's an electric motor. It's kind of like what's on those dump trailers and stuff. Now watch that little piece of C. Watch that little C, C clamp go over and lock her down. See? If I want to unload it, I do that. And then the weight of the bales unload themselves. And if I want to lock it down and go down and load up, lock down. I don't know if you can see it, way up there, it's a tractor. And this is, this is about halfway across this field here. I guess not quite the full shot, but there's nothing exciting about watching me walk. So I'll turn you back on when we get over here to load up the tractor, or I'm sorry, to load up the trailer. Oh, this gives me a quick second to think about something. I've been making this channel. I have fun making it. If you know of anybody else that might like watching my ugly mug walk around making complete mistakes and ruining and breaking stuff, not on purpose, or fighting really old equipment, tell someone, share this video. And if you don't like it, well, I don't like you. <laughs> nah, I still like you. <sighs> Almost made it. That's where we just came from. I don't even know if you can see it. I can't see it through the camera. It's a long ways. I really enjoy getting out and walking around. three bales with the tractor back to this stack here just to make sure that well then I only have one 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 more walk back to the truck and I'll bring the truck over here on the next load three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve bales ought to be a perfect load that's the way I roll I like to drop nice loads <laughs> okay enough of that nonsense I just hiked back to the pickup um gonna haul this last load up to the house came in here and I put a banana in here yesterday for me to have a little snack and I 
went to go get it. I got a dang mouse in my car. It raided my banana. So we're gonna just have to declare war on some mice. Little boogers. But yeah, so last load. Well, not last load, last load over here. I got one more load after this one, but figure I might try to stick you up here somewhere so we can get this last, last one coming out. Where's a good spot to put it? How about we put it over here somewhere? Ooh, that tire looks low. Great. Well, I've got no other option. I'm gonna have to drive it home. Son of a gun. Uh, when I pick this, yeah. Well, let's put the camera on the tire. I guess we'll see what, see how that tire holds up. <laughs> if it holds up, I will be amazed. Let's see where's a good spot to put you guys here. Okay, so we're gonna try to get out of here with a flat tire. So this tire here is it's flat. I've got to go 10 miles. Luckily, the Prozo straw isn't very heavy. And I probably shouldn't be standing underneath this thing. So, yeah, great day. Starting off great. I guess we made it that far. You know, advice is, is worth as much as you pay for, right? So here's some free advice for you. Even if somebody tells you all the tires are good, don't worry about it, check the tires. I mean, I'm sure it'll make it. These Prozo bales aren't that heavy. There's three tires back there. There's no reason it wouldn't make it. Other than the fact that it's pretty much flat. I mean, right? <laughs> but it's not that big a deal. It's just a little low tire. Can't let a low tire ruin your day, right? We're going to cruise on back. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed nothing bad happens. And head that way. Catch you on the flip side. Well, we made it. Back up here to the house, which is good. The tire, oh, I'll be darned, the tire made it. It's not even that hot. Score, farming win. <laughs> oh, I gotta pull up just a little bit more. Sam joins the party. Yeah, you ready to party, pal? You ready to party, Sam? Huh? Bail party? BYOB. Bring your own bales to the bale party. Yeah, that ought to do the trick. So, now we just come in here, turn this doohickey on. There we go, wrong way. Sam's okay. No problem. Come on, Sam, let's race. Ha! There's a badger hole in the middle of the road, like, really badger? Why do I need a badger hole in the middle of the road up here? It's been there for literally years, like three years. Okay, so I've got to try to back this trailer up between the little Audi car that's always getting fixed and the Ford, which has trash in the back of it. I need to make a dump run. Oh, 
success, I would say. Well, we made it back. Last load. I put about 80 pounds of air in that flat, bald tire. Huh. Things about to blow. Um, yeah, so let's get this darn doohickey loaded up and ready to rock. It's kind of exciting getting the last load out of here finally, but it's also kind of a bummer because last freaking load, the last load means <laughs> no more hay, which means no more money on that's pretty darn easy i kind of like that electric one lazy farmer like me have these automatic shutoffs on your farm get them they might be a hundred bucks or something like that they are worth every penny for a long time I fought it with just the old cheap style like I say in these things are worth their weight in gold because you don't spill fuel you don't waste fuel and more importantly than that it gives you free time to work on other little things while you're filling up just check a few things here and there Tire's still up. It's amazing what 80 pounds of air will do. Stay a good tire. I don't have to buy a new tire. The tricky part is getting this thing out of here. some thousand pounds of hay on stopping and then going again I better stop abide by the law John follow the law okay come on truck oh we're spinning out our tires are spinning like smoking the tires spinning oh uh, we made it it's going yeah all right come on truck you gotta climb a big old hill Kind of curious what this next load's gonna weigh. So there's two turds floating in a punch bowl at a party. The first turd says, man, where's everybody at? And the second turd looks at the first one and says, man, I don't know, but this party stinks. Just made it up. When you're by 
yourself all day and your radio doesn't work in your car or your tractor or anything, you just kind of quasi lose it, but I don't know, it's just what your head does. It's what the inside of my head does. So, yeah, last load of the season. Woohoo! Bummer. Turn this little doohickey on. See you later. We need to put lock and unlock on this thing for geniuses like me. Well, goodbye, 2019. Hey. And just like that, it was done. So all these bales rolled all the way over. Up against these millet bales. This here's this here's uh millet hay. It's pretty good stuff too. These are heavy, heavy bales here. Nice green hay inside of there. And then uh, this is, hey look, there's a stick of sorghum. So, I don't know, I'm probably wasting my time here. This is a, a type of millet made for hay. Can you see the size of the leaves on it? And then here's, this here is the millet for, it's a millet, millet for grain. I mean there's, Totally different animals. Can't compare apples and apples there by any means, but I don't know, just two different bales. And it's each called millet. We're just unhooking today. Didn't get quite as much done as I wanted to, but better than nothing. I guess we'll find out. Good trailer. Man, those trailers are so darn handy. I'm fortunate enough to be able to get them here. To rent a trailer costs about 75 bucks a day. That one I rented. And I was happy to pay 75 bucks a day to rent it. So it's good business if you're thinking about, you know, what else can you do on the farm to have income, like side little side income things. Before I get out of here, let me up. Ah. Like this guy here, he leases out all these trailers. It's pretty, pretty good thing for a lot of the farmers around during harvest time. Shoot, every one of these trailers is gone and out. I think a grain trailer is like 150 a day, which seems expensive, but by the time you figure out, you have to put tires on trailers and license them and insure them, and well, there's a big hole. Yeah, it's pretty darn easy to just go rent one for a couple days. And you get pretty much a brand new trailer each time. You hook up, you know it's going to be good. <sighs> Most of the time. Unless there's like a flat tire on it or something. Oh, I was going to stop it here and buy some bullets. Because, I mean gotta buy bullets right without bullets what good is anything I'm not gonna show you guys where I buy my bullets it's a secret